Hi everyone. In this video, today we will discuss about cylindrical dielectric regenerator antenna that is CDRA. So another one information, those who want to watch rectangular dielectric regenerator antennas that is RDRA, they can see the design one video in this antenna world channel. So now we will discuss about the CDRA. So why it is called as CDRA, cylindrical dielectric regenerator antenna? Because the structure of dielectric regenerator is the cylindrical shape. That's why it is called as cylindrical dielectric regenerator antennas. So in this video, we'll discuss about the empirical formula to find out the dimension of CDRA. And we'll discuss about, we'll design the dielect, this cylindrical dielectric regenerator antenna by using CST MWS software. This is the empirical uh, formula for CDRS. So here I have used the HEM modes, hybrid electromagnetic modes. So for this modes, this is the empirical formulas. Here D is called as diameter of the cylindrical DR and H is the effective height of the dielectric regenerators, cylindrical DR. And we can find out this effective permittivity then effective height of the DR. So this is the formulas and also I have prepared the excel sheet for cylindrical dielectric regenerator antennas for different modes also. This is TE, HEM, TM, TE011 modes. So if we will give the input over here that is height of the DR, radius of the DR and dielectric constant of the DR. So here I have taken the aluminum material for dielectric regenerators and having permittivity is 9.9 .9 and uh, tantal that is loss is 0.001 so after feeding this uh, these inputs we can easily get the regenerate frequency for different modes so i have considered here hgm modes that is f0 is 5.9 gigahertz So let's start to design the cylindrical dielectric regenerator antenna using CST software. So this is the window of uh, CST Studio Suite. First we'll go to the new template. Then microwave, then antennas. Then dielectric regenerator as we are the design antenna is a dielectric regenerator that's why so we'll go for time domain solver then this is the units we'll give the 4.9 gigahertz minimum frequency maximum is the 6.9 gigahertz and we'll check the electric field magnetic field R field and our regenerate frequency is 5.9 gigahertz then we'll click the next option then uh, finish Okay, this is the working plan. Local coordinate. So first of all, we will design the ground plan. So we'll go to the modeling. Then this is the brick. This is ground minus twenty five plus twenty five minus twenty five plus twenty five. And this out height is 0.035 mm and we will consider the PEC or you can uh, take the copper material also so first layer is completed then we'll design the second layer second layer is the software minus 20 minus 25 plus 25 25 this one is 0 0.035 0 0.035 plus height of the tr is 1.6 we have considered the fr4 material so we'll go to the no load and library load from library here we'll write the fr4 so this is the lossy material having dielectric constant is 4.3 
and tandal is 0.025 and this material is easily available in the market that's why uh, we are taking this uh, fi4 substrates so second layer is completed then we'll go for the third layer that is dielectric regenerators again we'll click this uh, uh, as we are going to design the cylindrical dielectric regenerator antennas so we'll select this cylindrical or cylinder then we need to feed the radius so actually in the design we have taken the 6 uh, mm radius but optimized value is 6.4 this is 0 this one 0 this one 0 and it will start from 0 0.035 plus 1.6 then 0 0.035 plus 1.6 plus height of the tier is 8.5 and uh, the material is aluminum material having 99.5 percent and load then preview so if you want to change this color then go to select this one and go to the right click and here option is available change material and color you can uh, put any colors over there and uh, okay then we need to uh, design the feed so can press this one uh, peak adds here and uh, click this uh, align wcs and we need to uh, okay first of all we will design the feed only after that we will give the input excitation then go to this uh, brick again and this one is feed and 3.7 divided by 2 plus 3.7 divided by 2 this is our width of the micro step line this one 0 and this one is uh, 20.5 this one will start from 0 and this one is 0 0.035 this is the height of the micro step head. and uh, material is PC preview ok then we will change the color ok then we will design the coaxial probe it is also available in CST so we have already designed in previous video so those who want to need how to design the coaxial probe they can see the design one video that is rectangular dielectric regenerator antenna in that video i have explained that all the step how to design the coaxial probe from the option actually it is available in macros option so they can watch the video one or design one so i have already set this coordinate this uh, w axis or z axis it should be towards the feed length this is w then we will go to the macros and uh, calculate the line impedance and uh, this is coaxial probe so this one is 1.2 and this one is 4.1 and epsilon r is 2.1 and we will check whether it is yes the impedance is z0 is 50.84 which is nearly about 50 ohm impedance then calculate okay okay then we need to uh, set this coaxial probe because it is inserted uh, towards the substrate so we need to bring back side and also height also we need to adjust those who want to need this uh, all the setting they can watch design one videos so now this is completely set this uh, coaxial probe they said this one will start from over here
now it is completed then we will give the input excitation over here so we will go to this one and uh, ok so web guide port is available here you click this one ok so now it is completed the design part is completed then we'll go for the simulation so before going to the simulation we need to check the setup solver so accuracy is minus 40 so no need to click this uh, normalize to fixed impedance because we have already uh, set the 50 ohm impedance over here by setting this length of the micro strip field so that we have taken the uh, 20.5 length and width is the 3.7 then we'll start the simulation so it will take uh, two minutes time so it mainly depends upon the system performance actually So now the simulation completed. Now we'll check the results. So we'll go to the 1D result over here. Then S parameter S11. So our resonant frequency is 5.9 gigahertz. So impedance bandwidth over here. This one will start from. 9.5.3 to uh, 6.3 nearly about 1 gigahertz impedance bandwidth and our resonant frequency is 5.91 5.9 gigahertz so in theoretically we have calculated the 5.9 gigahertz frequency and uh, in simulation also we got 5.91 gigahertz resonant frequency and this is our impedance bandwidth 5.3 to 6.3 so similarly we can check the different parameters like efficiency of the antennas so in linear scale it is nearly about 88 87 88 nearly 88 percent for radiation efficiency and this is the total efficiency then we can check the bswr also voltage standing wave ratio and we can check the y matrix then z matrix so in this case we can check whether our impedance real part is 50 or not within the impedance bandwidth and we can check the imaginary part it should be nearly zero at our resonant frequency this is a real part so like that we can check uh, the different uh, parameters of antennas then we can check this one is uh, far field radiation pattern at 5.9 gigahertz this is uh, the far field radiation patterns our gain is this one is directivity 6.83 and we can check the gain 6.15 db and we can check uh, our polar plot this one is the 590 at that time we need to so the structure also okay so this one is a yz plan that is got 90 and if we go for zero then uh, this is xz plan so this is the xz plan and the realized gain is 5.615 at 5.9 gigahertz frequency so like that we can check other parameters also 
CDRA design and analysis is completed. So those who want to need more information related to CDRA, how to uh, know the modes, all these things, uh, they can put a comments and I will reply that one. So no problem. So thank you for watching.